Hello, praying parents. This is uh, Pastor Lade here. Um, I just felt very strongly in my spirit to come out and encourage you. Okay, we're in very difficult times and we must, must persevere. All right. And the word that God gave me uh, for you to encourage you is in um, Paul's letter, Paul the Apostle's letter uh, to Timothy. So I'm going to read to you from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. It says, you therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. First and foremost, praying parents, I'm just encouraging you to be strong. We've got to be strong in these times. We have no other choice, all right? We are in the thick of it. We're going through the valley of the shadow of death because we're hearing death to the right, death to the left. Everything that is in the news is about death. It's about uh, coronavirus and all of that. But in spite of that, I just want to encourage you in the word of God. Um, Paul is saying in 2 Timothy chapter 2, in verse 3, he says, you, you therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. He's encouraging us to en en endure hardship. So I am encouraging you today, please endure this hardship. God has you in mind. He will never, ever leave his own. He will never forget about his own. And endurance, to endure means to suffer something difficult patiently. So you must suffer patiently. In the word of God, encouraging yourself, speaking the word, reading your Psalm 91, Psalm 23 over your family and just standing on the word of God. It says that you must end your hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So we know that as a soldier, you are in the, in, in the army, right? So we are the army of Christ and the Lord will continue to encourage you in the name of Jesus Christ. You must remain in existence. In the army, the fight to remain in existence, you must remain in existence via the word of God, standing on the word, speaking the word and meditating on the Lord. Amen. We must last and we will last and we will go through this and come out of it victoriously in Jesus name. These are perilous times, praying parents. There's no bed of roses for anybody. You know, so I pray over your children, even in the time that they're at home, that the Lord will begin to brood on their hearts and speak to them. They need to be hearing God in this hour. Um, the, the, this is a different time for them. They're not used to it. They don't understand it. But as time goes on, the, you will see the presence of the Lord in their lives. You will see it, I guarantee you, because our prayers are not in vain. And the other thing that God encouraged me about is that we must have the capacity to last. We must withstand the wear and the tear. We must withstand it. You know, when you have a, uh, you know, the tire of your car, when, you're, when you use your car a lot and you travel a lot, it endures the wear and tear. So what you do is that you get the best tire that you can afford. And this is what I'm saying now. Get the word out. Get the word out. It will help you to endure in these times. Amen. And um, you know that we're fighting now. We're in the thick of the battle. You know, but the Bible says that we will run through the troop and scale every wall. So I'm encouraging you to persevere to carry on doggedly and to keep on going, keep on going, keep on keeping on. The Lord is with us. Amen. You're not alone in this. Uh, Jesus has promised us in Psalm 23 that ye though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. So I encourage your praying parents, fear no evil. It is well with our souls. It is well with your children. For those of you who have been contracting or, you know, you've been working temporarily and uh, or, or, or even permanently, I don't know, because some people have been laid off. I want to reassure you today, God will make provision for you. Don't worry about it. OK, don't panic. Don't be afraid. Jesus said, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For thou art with me, you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. My word of encouragement to you today, be comforted. Christ is in it with you and you're not alone, all right? We're going to come out of all this. And I pray today that God will bring you new jobs, new contracts. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will find favor 
unusual favor, unmerited favor, unmerited favor will come your way in Jesus' mighty name. So I pray over you. I pray over your children in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord will protect your children from these evil times, these evil diseases, these viruses, these germs. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your families in Jesus' mighty name. Be encouraged. All right. Be encouraged. Um, the thoughts of God towards you and your children are of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. God bless you mightily. In Jesus' name, amen.